Hey guys, Martin here from Mattress Clarity. If you're looking for a comfortable memory foam mattress that's also cooling and responsive, you've come to the right video. Today we're talking about the Winkbeds Gravity Lux mattress. We're gonna take a look at its construction, my experience with it, who it's a good fit for and who it's not a good fit for. Let's get started. First off, you want to see a list of our top picks for mattresses, head over to mattressclary.com. They're going to find some other reviews on mattresses, bedding, pillows, and some great discounts on mattresses like the Gravity Lux. You'll also find some great coupons in the YouTube description below. So the Gravity Lux comes from Winkbed, producers from very high quality mattresses. They have the Winkbed Hybrid Mattress, they have the Winkbed Eco Cloud Mattress, and the Winkbed's Gravity Lux Mattress. So the Gravity Lux is their memory foam option, but it's no simple memory foam mattress. It features proprietary materials and a very interesting construction. You also have three firmness options, soft, medium, and firm. We're taking a look at the medium model today. How does it all work? Let's find out right now. So now let's take a look at the construction of the Gravity Lux Mattress. First off, it's 11 inches tall, then starting off on top and working our way down. First off, you're going to have a tensile cover, very soft and breathable as well. It's going to be quilted with some gel-infused foam for cooling and some pressure relief as well. Beneath that, a layer of air cell foam proprietary to wink bed. It is going to be breathable and responsive as well. Beneath that, a layer of transition foam that's actually zoned, so firmer towards the center of the mattress, softer towards the head and the foot of the mattress. Below that, you have your base foam, very durable, very high density as well. So what does all that mean? Well, first off, again, you do have firmness options with this mattress. So this is the medium model. With the softer model, it might be plusher on top of the mattress. With the firmer model, it might be a little bit thinner on top of the mattress. Speaking of cooling, it is an all foam mattress. It might trap a little bit of heat, but that being said, you do have a tensile cover on top, very breathable, a gel infusion and a breathable foam right here might help with cooling overall. Last but not least, speaking of durability, this is an all foam mattress, but definitely features some high density materials, high density foam here, here, and here. So should last for between seven and 10 years. So now let's talk about firmness and feel. In terms of firmness, I thought this mattress was close to a seven out of 10, a little bit firmer than average. You have some soft layers on top, beneath that some more firm supportive layers. Again, you don't have firmness options with this mattress. You have the soft model, the medium model here, and the firm model. Speaking of feel, overall it has more of that responsive, balanced foam feel. Push my hand in here, but it bounces back into place very quickly. Test out the bounce. Have the ball here. I mean, look at that. For a memory foam mattress, that is a lot of bounce. So let's me know, not too hard to move around on this mattress. So now let's talk about how I feel in different sleeping positions on this mattress. Starting off my back, a good match for me, a nice balance of comfort and support. My hips sink in the right amount, some good lumbar support, and some good overall support. Moving to my side though, I am feeling some pressure on my shoulders and my hips. Again, this is the medium model. I think if you're a side sleeper, take a look at the soft model. Moving to my stomach though, it is a firmer than average mattress. Good support under my hips. I'm not bowing in and I'm not getting out of alignment. Here at Mattress Clarity, we like to mix subjective opinion with objective tests. And one of those tests is the pressure map. So I lie down on my backside and stomach. You see anywhere from blue for no pressure all the way up to red for high pressure. Now pay close attention to my side sleeping results specifically on my shoulders and my hips. Let's get started. If you sleep with a partner, you also want to think about motion transfer. Basically, you're lying down on one side of the mattress and your partner moves around on the other side. Are you going to feel that motion or not? Now to test out the motion transfer on this mattress, place a glass of water here in the center, and I'm pushing the other areas, kind of trying to create a disturbance. And it's disturbed a little bit, but not too much. You have thick foam right on top, really absorbing some of that motion. Now, to further test out the motion transfer on this mattress, I lay down on one side of the mattress and Tanner moved around on the other side. He changed positions, he got in and out of bed. I didn't feel too many of his movements transfer to my side of the mattress, so overall a pretty good handling of motion transfer. If you sleep with a partner or you like sleeping towards the edge of the mattress, you also wanna think about edge support. 
Basically, if you're sitting down or lying down near the edge of a mattress, do you feel secure or more like you're gonna roll off and onto the floor? So here I am sitting down near the edge of the Gravity Lux mattress. You can see it's not collapsing too much under my weight. I feel secure enough to lean over and tie my shoes. Now lying down on this mattress, I'm lying very close to the edge here. I'm rolling around. It's not collapsing too much under my weight. So overall, some pretty good edge support. So now let's talk about the pros of who I think this mattress might be a good fit for. First off, it's a good option if you want firmness options. They have a soft model, a medium model, and a firm model, a good match for many types of people. Also, if you want a memory foam mattress, it's also good for hot sleepers. Take a look at the Gravity Lux. It is an all foam mattress, but does feature some more breathable foams and gel infusions as well. And last but not least, if you want a mattress with more of a balanced foam feel, you definitely get that with this mattress. It does have a bit of that slow moving feel, but overall more responsive, easy to move around on the Gravity Lux. So now let's talk about the cons, or who I think this mattress might not be the best fit for. First off, if you prefer more of a slow moving memory foam feel overall, you get more of a balanced foam feel with this mattress that's more responsive. If you wanna lie down and slowly sink in, you might wanna look elsewhere. Also, speaking of support, if you are a heavier person, probably not the best mattress for you. You might not get quite enough support on this mattress. Take a look at the Wink Beds Plus if you're a heavier person. And last but not least, speaking of price, at full price for a queen size, around $1,600. A very good deal for what you're getting, but there are more affordable memory foam options out there. If you're taking a look at the Wink Beds Gravity Lux mattress, you might want to know how it compares to the Wink Beds Luxury Hybrid mattress. Let's do that right now. So first off, there are some construction differences with the Wink Bed Gravity Lux mattress and all foam memory foam mattress. With the Wink Beds Luxury Hybrid Mattress, it is a hybrid mattress. It features coils, the Gravity Lux Mattress does not. Now you also have firmness options with both. So the Gravity Lux has the soft, the medium, and the firm. With the Luxury Hybrid Mattress, you have the softer model, the Luxury Firm model, the firmer model, and the plus model. Speaking of feel though, they are quite different with this mattress here, the Gravity Lux. It definitely has more of that balanced foam feel overall. With the Luxury Hybrid mattress, definitely has more of that kind of responsive inner spring feel with a plush pillow top right on top of the mattress. But speaking of price, pretty much exactly the same. So who should get one and who should get the other? In terms of who should get the Gravity Lux mattress, definitely a better option I think for lighter people and those who want more of a foam feel. And in terms of who should get the Wink Bed Luxury Hybrid mattress, I think a better option for heavier people and those who prefer more of that classic inner spring feel with a pillow top. So now I have to give you some additional information about the Gravity Lux mattress. First off, it comes with free shipping and returns, 120 night sleep trial, a lifetime warranty. They offer other accessories, mattresses, and financing as well. If you are interested in purchasing this mattress, head over to mattressclarity.com for the best coupons. So now I'd like to answer some frequently asked questions about the Gravity Lux mattress. The first question is, is the Gravity Lux a good mattress? And in our experience, it is a good mattress, but it's more about what you're looking for. If you want something with a balanced foam feel and firmness options, definitely a good option for you. If you want something with more of that slow moving memory foam feel and you want to save some money, I'd probably look elsewhere. The second question is, can you flip the Gravity Lux mattress? And the answer is no, you cannot flip this mattress. It's only designed to lie one way with support layers on the bottom and the comfort layers right on top. And the last question is, how long will the Gravity Lux mattress last? Now, taking a look at its construction, its materials, its high density foams, probably gonna last between seven and 10 years, if not more. In the end, I think the Gravity Lux is a great option if you want firmness options and you prefer more of a balanced foam feel. Well, that's about it. If you're just getting started looking for a mattress or bedding, head over to mattressclarity.com. We also do a lot of videos just like this. So hit the like button and subscribe. <laughs>